guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today I will be doing a short walkthrough of how I do A-frame houses. So it's been a while since the last tutorial I did here on the channel, but I kind of, I've been in the mood to do a couple more of them. So this is the first one that we're doing. Of course, if there's anything you've seen me do or anything you want me to explain to you guys, please let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section and I will do my best to make a tutorial on it or a video on it or whatever. But first of all, we are gonna go through how to do A-frame houses. So I've done about five of these on the channel and I feel like I've done it differently every single time but I'll show you the way that I did it the last time so anyways I do have an example here in the background because technically you can't just use this roof right and then just place it down drag it up so it's not super flat and then just you know put some windows on it put some doors on it and then call it a day but what I like to do is that I basically split up the roof piece as you can see right here these are basically made out of three roof pieces and then this one is one big roof piece and then I like to add a box because I feel like it's easier to decorate if you have a box on the a-frame or in the a-frame I don't know up on the exterior of the a-frame I don't really know combined with the a-frame yes let's put it like that so you have some walls that you can actually turn into a kitchen area or possibly a laundry room or a bathroom or something like that because it does get a little bit difficult to floor plan an a-frame so so that is what I'll be showing you guys today Today. So first of all, what I do first is, okay, let's go down to the first floor, the ground floor. I like to add a box because then I know just about how big the house is going to be. So we're going to make it five squares wide today. That's, I think that's the same. No, this is six squares wide. It's about the same as that one. Uh, almost anyways. And then this actually means that we can also add a second floor, I think. Possibly, we'll see. So then we'll take this roof piece right here. So instead of just taking this one and then dragging it over like this, because that is, that's not how it works. That doesn't work. We're gonna use this one. As you can see, we're basically just like splitting the roof pieces up into several pieces to make it a little bit more fun and easier and stuff basically. That didn't make any sense, but anyways. So first of all, we have this roof piece right here. I'm gonna drag it in like this. So it's only covering two squares total. And I think I might have to just yeah, drag it up a little bit as well. Or make it a little bit higher. I don't know how to say that. But anyways. Also, by the way, if you don't know how to do this, you know when you're pulling these small arrows right here, you extend the eaves on the roof piece. But if you hold down shift, you'll just extend one side. So that's very important. That's a good trick to know when you're doing A-frame houses. Because otherwise, if you're using a glass roof uh, texture here in the middle piece, you'll kind of have this like, I don't know, they are they don't overlay very well. So it's kind of glitchy and stuff. It doesn't look very pretty. So just uh, remember that whole shift down when you do like this. Anyways, so we are gonna copy this button also, or copy this roof piece. Also, if you didn't know this button, it's a copy button. You can use it on basically everything. You can also just move this roof piece, place it down and hold shift down at the same time, and you still have another roof. Like, it's basically just like a copy button holding shift down. In case you didn't know that either, <laughs> we're gonna extend one side of the eave and then drag the other one in. So we have this open area right here. And then I'm gonna take this roof piece, place it on the top and just let it cover the entire space for now at least. And then I'm gonna raise it up so that it's the same height or it lines up with these two roof pieces. So just one more tick like this, I think. Yeah, now we have a, uh, actually I'm gonna drag the eave in or the eaves in just because it looks annoying. <laughs> so now we have almost an A-frame. We're gonna copy these two roof pieces over here to the other side like this. So now we have somewhat of an A-frame and these two open boxes right here. I'll probably just copy this so that it's, you know, covered completely and then just drag the eaves in on both sides. I'll actually just show you what I meant with the glass texture kind of, um, kind of glitching with it a little bit. So if we drag the eave in like this and then Let's drag it like that. Sometimes it doesn't do it right now for some reason, but sometimes it'll kind of, the two textures don't agree. Let's just put it like that. So it kind of switches back and forth. And I don't like how that looks. So, but for now we have sort of like an open window right here, except it's not actually open yet, but I'll show you that in just a second. So we can add a box here if we want to, very fancy. And we have a house that looks somewhat like this one, but it's not that easy. So to get the area down here to be a little bit bigger, because because it is quite a small house. It's not actually a tiny house. 
I don't think at least. Oh, we can't check that because I have another house on the lot. But anyways, as you can see, if I down, if I not download this, but if I delete this, I still have a wall because there's a roof piece in the way. So either I can move it up here or I can either move it up here and then drag the eave down like this so it's covering and then you know the wall is gone because it's actually on the second floor or i can also do it like this so i'll place one tile or two tiles in this case i'll place two tiles of the roof piece inside of this roof piece and then i'll drag it in like this and then hold shift down and drag the eave out like that because then the wall is technically right here along with this roof piece so if i'm if i move this roof piece it, it's still here like this roof piece right here is just that square it's just because i've extended the eave hopefully that's making some sort of sense anyways so we're gonna move that back so now you have an open area there you cannot delete these two like you can delete the walls if you want to but it won't actually do anything you'll still have walls here but that's just that's just how the game works so you cannot delete these two it's also for the best to be honest because if you want to if you don't have the box here and you want to make a bathroom it's actually nice to have some walls i'm just saying so but yeah now we have a nice little glass texture right here so i want to extend this glass texture to the second floor can i do that yes i can so I'm gonna split this roof piece up into three pieces, I think. So the first one, we're gonna pull it back and then pull the eaves back. Hold shift down again, by the way. Then I'm gonna copy it, place it over here. I rotated it, by the way. I rotated it with my full stop button or something, or comma button, actually. And then I'm just gonna place it over here. Again, copy it, pull the eaves in. That's just something I like to do. I don't know why. <laughs> and then, so now we have a, uh, what looks like one roof piece on the second floor, but it's actually split up into three. So I can add a glass, glass texture to this piece right here. And I don't know what's happening here, but I think all I need to do is do it like this and then pull it back again and it's fine. Yep, there you go. That's a very, very open window. I'm just like, there's a lot of light coming in here. <laughs> but maybe that's nice. I don't really know. So we can also, by the way, if you want to, if you want to add a window here to the top. So I'm going to show you what I mean. See, if I add this window right here, it won't be showing on the other side because obviously it's just on a roof piece. So the other wall is right here. You can actually split this roof piece up into three more pieces. So I'll just quickly show you guys how to do that because I feel like it looks nicer if you have some kind of window up here on this. Like if you have, if the bottom box is five tiles, it looks nice and harmonized if you have a window on the single tile up here on the single wall. So basically you just, split this up into three by let's activate the grid like this i'm gonna move this out of the way and then i'm just gonna copy these roof pieces right here so copy them like this i'm gonna drag or paint a wall i don't really know how to say that either <laughs> this is going really well but hopefully it's making some sort of sense so now we have a normal wall right here it's not made out of a roof or anything which means that i can put why am i not getting okay i'm just gonna turn it into a room for now because otherwise I'm not getting a, I'm still not getting a square. There you go. And then I'm just gonna, then I'm just gonna place this roof piece that I had just before. I'm just gonna place it on the top, make it a little bit smaller. So we have what looks like, again, three roof, or one roof piece, but it's actually turned into three roof pieces. Now I do have this issue right here, because this is actually, this was covering up this wall piece but I can't just do like this. Oh, there we have it. This is the glitch I was talking about. You see what I mean? It's super annoying. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm actually gonna turn this into three roof pieces as well. <laughs> it's a little extra, but sometimes it's needed. So I'm just gonna place a window up here so you guys can see. Now there's actually light coming through because otherwise you just have another wall piece right here and that would make the window a little bit pointless. Except if you just use it for exterior purposes, I suppose, but we don't, or maybe some of you guys do. I don't really know. Not judging. Anyways, so we're gonna move this up here to the third floor, make it smaller again, turn it into like a one tile roof and then just drag it over like that. And then because I don't want this, like I don't want a wall all the way here again, I want this to be open because then we can turn this into, I don't know if it's gonna... Yeah, then we can turn this into sort of like an open A-frame right here, which looks nice. I'm just gonna undo. Um, we're gonna copy this right here, drag it over. Hopefully it won't glitch with the texture. It probably will. Yep, it did, but that is fine. We're just gonna do like this. <laughs> oh, whoops. No, we can't do that because it's just one tile. There you go. Recipe and derpy is all good. And then just move it back. 
Is it working now? Whoopsie. Uh, it really wants to place it on the ground floor. There we go. So now it's covering the whole window and we have, or the whole glass texture, whatever. And we have a nice, I don't know, wall roof piece made out of glass. Everyone can look into this house. It, it's, it's a little bit nerve wracking, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna protect this roof piece because we want that to be a, uh, or not roof piece, but this, um, the surface right here, the ceiling. Because if I do like this, if I press K and then just delete it, even if I only want to delete the, that in here. Oh, I can't actually delete that. Thank you, game. There you go. It'll still, you know, delete the ceiling piece over here. So what I'm gonna do instead is close this off like that, then open this again and hopefully it'll work. There you go. So now we have an open A-frame with a lot of window and a lot of light coming in, but also not a lot of privacy, but you know, Privacy is not for everyone. Sims don't really care. I'm just gonna delete these roof, or not roof pieces, walls right here, because they were kind of annoying me. And yeah, also delete the ceiling right here, like that. So this looks, this looks better. There you go. That's basically how I make A-frame roofs or A-frame houses, I suppose, because it's not just a roof. It's actually a cottage or a house or whatever. So also, by the way, again, I just want to close this off. So I'm going to hold shift down and then just drag the eave down like this. So it's closed off. Also, because uh, often when I make A-frame houses, I have play tested them before during winter in Granite Falls and it was fine. But I've heard from other people that their sims were freezing. What I do is I put a thermostat in the house and then if it turns way too cold I'll have my sims basically turn up the heat and it should be fine but for some reason that doesn't work for everyone and I'm not really sure why but just something to think about uh, but it's been successful for me in the past so I hope it works for you guys too but this is basically what I do when I make a-frame houses this is this is basically it so what I would probably do, because this house looks an awful lot like this one, <laughs> like a lot. Oh, right. I want to show you how I make it on a platform or on a foundation. That was really anticlimactic. Anyways, basically take this and then just drag it up like this and take this. I don't know what these flat squares. Yes. Place it over here, drag it in. So it's only where the roof piece is like that and i'm just gonna copy this because i know that there's another roof piece right here that's missing the same so now we have it on a foundation instead this does mean however that you do need to place a foundation of some sort here at the front or at least where you'd want to put the door because otherwise your sims will not be able to actually enter the house because you do need a staircase to the front door just just in case um so yeah, but anyways, this is pretty much it. If you want to add a roof piece to this, you can't just do like this because then it'll kind of like, it'll look like, I'll just <laughs> show you. I'm a little bit clumsy with my mouse today as per always, but it, it'll look like this, which is not, I mean, I suppose it, no, I don't like how it looks. So I will not, nope. I don't approve of that. So what I'm gonna do is I will turn this roof piece into a not glass roof and it'll look like this instead so that it's closed off. But normally I just, normally I don't actually use normal roof pieces on this part. I basically just leave it as a square. So I'll either use like half walls or fencing or I'll just leave it be. I won't use like a proper roof piece like this just because I like to, um, I don't like this. I don't like this wall piece that we're having right here. Wall piece situation. I suppose, could you do it like that? No, because it'll still not cover the entire box. I just wanted to te test something. I'm just gonna delete that again and then turn this into a glass roof piece instead. Again, there you go. And by half walls, by the way, I just mean I use these and then I just kind of paint it over or drag it over like that so that it's um, covering. There you go. Because this kind of looks like a roof or something. You can also turn it into a terrace like I've done over here. I basically just placed the staircase behind just because I didn't like how it looked at the front. And then I placed some trash cans out, out here too. Uh, but you can turn it into a terrace if you want to. It does mean that like it's, it's quite open. So if you have guests over, they can look down into everything here. But you know, it's fine. It's the Sims. They don't care. <laughs> So yeah, anyways, that is about it. If I missed something, please let me know. I'm just gonna drag these up again because they're kind of glitching, or not glitching, but they're they're clipping with the foundation and I don't like how it looks. So I'm just gonna close these. 
they're, or drag these up so that they're not doing that. There we go. But anyways, yeah, that was it, I think. So if I missed something, please let me know and I'll do my best to either include it in a future tutorial or I'll do my best to explain it to you guys in the comments section. I hope it helped some of you. I hope it was not too confusing. I know that I'm not the best at explaining things, but I also know that it's a little bit much with the split of uh, roof pieces and stuff, but that's just, it's how I do it. I'm pretty sure that a lot of other people that do A-frame houses do it the same way because I can't really see how else they would do it except if they just use like one roof piece which I don't know I like to add sort of like windows to the sides of the roof I suppose with glass textures and the glass textures you all have access to those because we got them in a free update before seasons actually so if you've updated your game since seasons came out you do have the glass textures just so you know they're not cc or anything like that they're just you know more textures basically so but yeah that was about it for today so I hope this was helpful to some of you guys and please let me know if there's anything else you want me to explain to you if there are any other tutorials you want me to do I'll do my best to get better at explaining. It's just doing it in my second language is not super easy sometimes, but doing my best anyways. But yeah, please let me know if there's anything else. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.